Okay, so this short video is going to be about getting a door into a curtain wall in Revit 2020. So let's start by creating a quick curtain wall one system. So that's going to be my wall type. I'm just short couple of L shapes on the wall. And let's make sure that we have these facing out. You can tell because that kind of corner right there, rather than them overlapping, let's just switch those back really quick. Overlapping bad, if this is the outside. Not overlapping good. Okay, so in my 3D view, let's go ahead and create a quick curtain grid. So that's really the first step of getting a door in. Um, if I'm doing a double door, we need that to be about a six foot wide gap right there. Let's add a few additional spacings in. And just to increase the complexity, let's put a few more pieces in. So I need the, the top, the header of the door as well. So if I'm at seven, that would be an eight foot six door, that one foot six at the bottom plus seven. So let's go down to about a uh, six, six. So I'm just going to select that mullion, type in six, six. So now I know I have an eight foot opening from here to here. And I know that that is six feet wide. Okay, let's put a few more divisions in put one right to the center of the door. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is open up this panel. So I need to eliminate these um, segments that, running, that are running across it. Okay, so that is done by selecting, and again, if you have trouble selecting them, use the tab key, and that's going to cycle through your options for selection. So with that curtain grid selected, I can click Add Remove Segments and remove that piece. Same thing for this lower one, Add Remove Segments. So now I have one larger panel that I can replace with a door. Now, a door, a standard door, isn't going to work at all in this. Um, the doors inside of Revit are actually going to be um, a family that you're placing. So to do that, we need to, and this is important, this is a very important step-by-step -step kind of thing. You need to go to the Insert tab. From the Insert tab, we are going to load Family. And then I've already done this. I'm navigating through the libraries to Doors. And I'm going to select any of these that have Curtain Wall in it. So for right now, I'm going to be using the Curtain Wall Double Glass. That's going to load that into my project. So if you notice, I'm still not placing that. Essentially what I'm doing is I am swapping out this panel. And now in my panel types, I will have curtain wall double glass as an option. So once that's in place, you can see that that has turned that into a door and it will behave just like a standard double door. So typically for a curtain wall like this, the doors are going to be swinging out. If we get this back in 3D again, the next step is to add mullions to everything. So mullions, all curtain grids. And then let's not forget the one common mistake that's often made here. And that is not eliminating this bottom mullion because that would not be something that you want to step over every time somebody's coming in and out of your doors. So one more quick thing to do with this is to change the glass panels to something different as well. Um, and that is done again by selecting one of your panels. So I'm going to use the tab key to select the panel. And if you notice, I can switch this panel. I can simply make it empty. Well, I thought I could make it empty. Let's try that again here. There we go. System panel to empty. So that's now an opening. Let's undo that. I can switch that to any of my wall patterns, which would be kind of silly, but I can. Or I can change the color or the type of the glass. So to do that, I'm going to select my glass panel and I'm going to go to edit type. And so this is going to give me the material parameters for that glass panel. I am going to go ahead and do duplicate and let's name this one red glass. 
Then let's go to the materials panel, select my glass properties, and let's create a new material. From here, I'm going to rename this to red glass. And then I'm going to replace the assets for this with something new. So I'm going to go to appearance and then replace this asset. And this pulls up the material properties um, that ship with Revit. So I'm just going to go right into the appearance library. I'm going to go to glass and scrolling down, I should be able to find some glass that's like a dark red glass. So to load this in, I'm simply going to double click. Thought I was going to double click. Maybe I'm not going to double click. So double clicking was the thing. Yeah, double clicking is the thing. Double click, that's going to load in red glass. If I want a dark bronze, double click, and that's going to load that in. I just had that hidden. I didn't see that it was loading up. Sorry about that. So double click, that's going to load up the red glass and the right kind of preview for me to see how it's going to render out. In my graphics tab, I typically switch this to use rendering appearance. So I've got red glass with red glass. I can now click OK and OK, and that's going to change that color to that. And so any other panel, I can come in now, and select it, and change that panel type or that material type. from that to my red glass material type. So that's the basics of getting curtain wall in and changing our wall panel types inside of curtain wall.